Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Manna. As you can see, uh, this is the passenger seat of my truck and uh, you can see the Samsung Galaxy Tab uh, from Sprint is right here on the seat. I'm using my Griffin iPad uh, case <laughs> to hold it in place. I don't have anything from uh, ProClip. Uh, they're usually ones that make stuff like that to hold the Galaxy Tab. But in this video, we're gonna actually test the Galaxy Tab out as a uh, GPS device using Google Navigation, one of my favorite applications uh, on the Google services list. So let's just turn it on here. Now you can do universal search through anything. So basically what I can do is just hit that voice action icon, navigate to anytime fitness. See it picked me up there. No, I'll put it closer to my, uh, closer to my mouth. There we go, let's try it again. Navigate to Anytime Fitness. There we go. Okay, I'll hit go. I'm gonna use my jack here for the, uh, for the Honda Element. Turn it on. Let's see, I'm still in trouble with that power button thing. And I'm gonna turn on this and see as we drive what happens here. This could get a little dangerous, but I'm not looking at the screen. I'll be able to hear the audible alerts very well over this. And let's give it a try, see how it works. I don't seem to be having any audio prompts coming through, but it is picking up my location and everywhere that I'm driving. And now I'm at the Continue on North Main Street for one mile. All right, now this direction is wrong. I know a shortcut. So we will stop here and I will put the menu button. And you can see you can change the layer view. And I will have, hopefully that shut off, and just have a regular map view there. And we'll test it out to see just how, um, how good it is at rerouting me. Usually with the Nexus One, it was very good, and that was never a problem. So we'll test it out here and see how it runs. The camera's gonna bounce around a little bit. I don't have a, uh, a camera mount, and I just put it in my cup holders. <laughs> so that's gonna have to do. There we go. It's rerouting me. It's pretty quick. I just made a left off of the route. And in a quarter mile, turn right at Connecticut 196 South. Now it is rerouting me in uh, the shortcut direction, which is better than the Nexus One did in the previous instant of Google Navigation. So um, we'll just let it run and see what happens. And so far, it seems to it works a lot quicker than uh, the AT&T Navigator I have on my iPhone, and it's always been pretty good. Google Navigation runs very well, and I would prefer it over the uh, the Sprint Telenav in some instances. It just seems to really lock very quickly. Um, it can't prevent people from in front of me from driving very poorly, but it seems to map out everything very nicely. So let's see if, what happens when I make the turn up here. Now I'm going through a real uh, rural part of Connecticut where the coverage isn't that great, and the sprint coverage itself is not all that great around turn this area. Turn right at Connecticut 196 South Lakeview Street. Right. So it's taking me through what is the shortcut to the gym, and that is not too bad. Because, like I said, the next one. Continue 20. on Connecticut right, 196 South for three quarters of a mile. I don't want to talk over her. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll come back when we're heading up uh, and towards the gym to see if it loses a signal or anything. It'll be a few minutes, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're almost at the uh, gym. As you can see, it goes into landscape or um, landscape or portrait mode, whatever you want. There's the notification bar. I have to, there we go. Okay, as you can see, I, there was no drops in the signal. The GPS worked very well. Turn and left at Connecticut 149 it, North, Westchester Road. Then your destination will be on the right. I'm hoping that it brings up Google uh, Street View for this, because I always thought that was cool, Google Navigation. It takes you right to Street View when you get to your destination. So let's see if it brings it up here. Uh, you know, it's... It's really good as a GPS device. I really 
would like that uh, if I had the choice. I mean, I don't have it on my iPad because I don't have a uh, 3G iPad um, and didn't want to pay the, the data plans. So it's nice to have it on this if you're already paying for the data plan. Let's see what comes up here. Turn into here and see if it goes to Street View. Your destination is on the right. There we go. There's Google Street View. So that's about it. This is a, a successful test of using the Samsung Galaxy Tab from Sprint as a GPS device. Now for everybody here at the T4 Show, well at least for me, I'm going to go get my second workout in. Ken. But for everybody else at the T4 Show, thank you. Best luck in all your future navigation endeavors.